everybody. Good to see you on a beautiful Thursday. In what I call the no drama drama zone. <laughs> Good to see everybody. This is Simeon from PraiseTracks.com, home of joyful journeys, home of the joyful sound and joyful journeys. It's good to see everybody. Good to see Klinger Vocal Studio and Luca, Les, Friedrich, Thomas. Good to see all of you in the chat today. Jeff Bird, blessings to all of you. We're going to have some fun, as we always do little surprises and uh, you know you never know what's gonna happen Fred good to see you man David and this of course is the latest from my friends at Nick's studio all right I just love I love listening to those uh, and playing along with those jam tracks so cool. Okay. Okay. So welcome everybody. This is Simeon. And, um, you know, I've got the, um, you know, the time change. So I just wish they would just do away with daylight savings time because, uh, on this weekend we had to, uh, move forward an hour where I am in the East Eastern time. So we jumped ahead. And so today at, with the uh, Spitfire's premiere, Normally, those are at uh, noon for me, uh, 12, 12, um, 12 p.m. So today, it was like 1 p.m. because of the time change. And I think uh, over in Great Britain, they even have uh, a similar thing where they're, where they're going to jump ahead or do something with the time. So they're always messing around with the time. So I wish they would just um, kind of just leave it, leave it alone. <laughs> But uh, that's what we're going to take a look at today. We're going to have a couple of things. Uh, we're going to take a look at John's uh, Plugging Gurus, the uh, Cutting Edge Rad Waves. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do that last week, so I thought I would spend some time with that. Um, not going to cover a whole lot, but I want to be able to have the time to really spend with uh, these, these couple of things that we're going to take a look at. But uh, before we do that... Um, before we do that, I want to share with you um, a special announcement. So here we go. Check this out. Hello, this is Simeon. I love joyful journeys and sharing instruments that can take you on wondrous adventures. Ilio has partnered with Vienna Symphonic Library to give you an opportunity to win a copy of VSL's Synchron Prime Edition. Synchron Prime Edition is the perfect first step into the world of Vienna's Synchron stage. Powered by the Synchron Player, you're given all the tools you need to bring out your very best performances. And now, with Apple Silicon support, you have even more power in your hands. The contest starts now and ends March 31st. One random winner will be selected and announced on April 10th, 2023. To qualify, you must be a resident of the United States. Multiple entries will improve your odds of winning. For complete contest rules, visit ilio.com slash contest or click the link in the description below. And remember to stay joyful. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, that is a, a uh, Ilio. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ilio, they are the North American distributors for Vienna Symphonic Library. And, and so they, uh, they reached out to me uh, to um, to help them to promote a giveaway uh, for Synchron Prime Edition, and uh, I did a video on Synchron Prime Edition when uh, when it was released, and I actually did the underscore for that little promo just only using uh, Synchron Prime Edition. I think it's a great package to get started with the um, with the Synchron uh, the Synchron series of instruments, and they just um, they just released a, an update for those of you who are on Apple Silicon. So that was real exciting. And let's see what we've got. Let me see if we can make sure 
There we go. There we go. Uh, so, so I'm excited to be able to partner with Ilio on that. And so check out the link in the description. Make sure that you uh, you enter. And, you know, and this, uh, unfortunately, it's only, uh, the giveaway is only open to those who are living in the United States. So, uh, so if you're in the United States, man, check that out. It'll give you a good opportunity to win a copy of uh, VSL's uh, Synchron Prime Edition. So, oh, wow. Okay, so let's just jump into this. And I did not, like I said, I didn't get a chance to do this on my last live stream, but uh, John at uh, and his team at Plugin Guru, I'm telling you, every time he releases a new library for Unify, it just pushes things in um, some really exciting ways. And what's fun about this one is that it's based on a broken uh, broken M1 while he was working with Korg back in the day. So I'm going to pull uh, pull this up and um, let's get started with this. And we'll take a look at, come on, give it to me. I'm having a little issue with my uh, stream deck sometimes not responding very fast, but we'll, uh, we're going to have some fun just kind of playing through this and getting us ready for, um, for a little bit of drama. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and go in and drop this down just so we're seeing only patches from the um, from the cutting edge uh, rad waves. So these um, these are great. So I'm just going to start at the top with some bases. We'll go through some bases and just go through some of these. And this is uh, different uh, samples that he's done with the M1, the broken M1. And of course, a lot of other. It's just so rich and fat. So let's see. I didn't. Just very fat. And in Unify, you can take any of these and put those into a, an existing layer if you want. So let's see. Let's keep going here. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's do another, let's do wow bass. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a little little nice little glide legato there going on. We've got some bells. Let's go to um way too happy. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's turn on the macro knobs and uh, we've that this is um, this is really cool. So you can CC1 is attached to this degrade um, and then you've got the, the different uh, different macro knobs, sample start and that kind of thing. It makes it makes it so much fun because so, you can really hear it just really crush that. Okay, this is another bell. Yeah. And when you break down how John programs these, it's almost like every one of them is like a little master class in programming. And let's get into some of the, uh, let's see, we've got some uh, drums, we've got some drum things here. I wanna see if I can find one Okay, yeah, so I've got one that uh, I put the little heart there. This is atomic wave um, pulses. And this is where I have a lot of fun with the uh, BPM splits. Now what I want to do, I'm going to see if I can put one of these um, these drum grooves in here. Let's 
let's see. And so I'm going to go here and say insert um, unified drum. And I'm just going to pick, um, pick up sunshine here and just see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So right there, you just, you just, just pop a, a groove in there. Let's go to uh, one of the plucks and let me make sure this is set back to normal. Um, okay, worlds apart. <laughs> that degrade just kind of just makes it so crazy. BPM pads, splashes of winter. And this is using like a wave sequence. There's so much going on in all of these patches. hearts and so what I did I just inserted another unify layer in here so I loaded uh, pumping hearts but I added it as a unify layer so it just puts it right there for us here we go just a lot of wild fun things just solo what the pumping hearts um, is are doing. And then you're just adding it on top. That's so cool. Now let me go through and pull up some more of the ones that uh, that I kind of marked. So this is uh, Okay, uh, Spectral Celebration. I love all of these things. And you know, John just added some bonus patches uh, to these, to this particular library. house going there. Oh, it's just wild. Uh, Shang, uh, Shangri-La? <laughs> Listen to that low end. Got 
got a key, uh, like a key category. It's just so cool. It's just, it just got some, it's just got that nostalgic stuff on it. He's got uh, like a, a an FM layer here with uh, using Dext. So this is using uh, like some FM sounds loaded up with um, with some Rhodes. This is very nice, Matt. Yeah. Very beautiful. Okay, so the, let's see what we've got here. Uh, snappy Strata. I just like some of these just exploring. Yeah. It's almost like a clavinet. That's cool. And some leads. Beautiful. Okay, uh, distorted orchestra. This is like a pad. Godly Power Orchestra, let's see. <laughs> oh no, let's see. Oh, let me see. That's pretty cool. That's wild. <laughs> That's so much fun. 
<laughs> that is so much fun. Uh, let's see. Winter is coming. Uh, oh, okay. Let just let's just do this for fun. Well, we've got this here. Um, let's go up to. Um, let's go ahead and add. Um, let's just do this. And I, th this is what makes Unify so much fun. So let's see if we can add. Um, wow. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, not dancing enough. Let's try that. Okay, so that's this. That's just the synth here. Now I'm going to do um, like a BPM drum thing. Let's see. Uh, Bigly. I'm just doing stuff that just uh, sort of pops pops into my head. And there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so what do you think about that, Chewy? I know. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I know. Do you enjoy that? <laughs> That's so much fun. That is just so much fun. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Man, we're just having so much fun here. Uh, wow. Oh, gee. Okay. So much fun. <laughs> Let me see. We've got... Um, Got a, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Okay, let's just keep going a little bit further here. Uh, but that's what that's what I love about Unify. It absolutely just makes it um, so much fun to um, to dive in and be able to um, just just create things kind of like on the fly and, and 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 just add things. You can keep adding things until your computer just um, you know starts begging for mercy. Uh, it is just so much fun. So the distorted orchestra, let's see, I'm going to back, go back to normal mode and let's just go to uh, distorted orchestra. It's organic, it's symphonic, it's synthy, it's all of this stuff just kind of it's just so much stuff going on here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, winter is coming. I just love what 
what he's doing here. And then winter is coming. Spring is going to be here. And this is spring is coming. And then 80s embraces the synth. Um. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful things here. And let's see, powerful enough. Just those big stacks, big synth stacks. Gorgeous, and then synth, uh, synth symphony, and then I love these. Uh, they sound kind of like an orchestra, but then they've got that other stuff going on. That is uh, Plugin Guru's uh, Cutting Edge Rad Waves, just giving you a lot of fun things, a lot of more pushing Unified into some really wonderful uh, territory. It's uh, very beautiful. Make sure you check the links out in the description. And uh, also, make sure that you check out John's uh, channel, the Plugin Guru channel. Every Saturday, they do a live stream, and John really goes deep and sometimes into programming and what is like behind the scenes. Like he opens the hood up in Unify and, and man, I just, I just am so, um, I'm so impressed with what he's doing. And every time that he comes out with a new library, it means more fun things happen inside of Unify. So make sure that you check, um, check that out. And of course the link is going to be in the description below. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go on to uh, to the drama zone, I guess you would say. <laughs> so this this just came out today, and this is the latest uh, addition to the the drama toolkit. So there was um, there was a British drama toolkit and a contemporary drama toolkit, and now we have uh, like an uh, additional title with this with brass and reeds. So the other libraries were focused on more on strings and woodwinds, and this is brass and, well, no, this is, um, yeah, brass and reeds. So it just kind of helps to add another spectrum uh, spectrum to it, another color to the, um, to the drama spectrum. I'm gonna take, uh, before we get, into this a little too deep. So now this is the first thing that you're going to um, that you're going to recognize right away is that this is not. Oh, let's see. Okay, good. We're okay. Yeah. So this is this is not going to be your typical. <laughs> it's not your typical player. Uh, it's not your. It's not contact. This. So, um, you know. I think I think that uh, that Spitfire is probably um, not going to do any more contact player libraries per se. I'm not real sure, but it seems like that that they finally cross some sort of threshold where we're now seeing only Spitfire player uh, products uh, being released instead of contact player uh, libraries. So they're really investing heavily into that. So this is what uh, 
this is what comes up first is the the combinations and let's just pull that up and just kind of play through some of this so this is the combination of grass and reeds of hear them yeah you're holding it down and they're kind of yeah you hear that motion there There's just, it's a, it's alive. There's just something going on underneath and that always inspires me. And then, so we have a dynamic slider, but the, the layers are triggered by velocity. And so the SL88, the, this keyboard is so sensitive that, uh, that I actually had to, uh, let me show you what I did. For me, on the SL88, on in Cakewalk, we have um, we have like a velocity scaling thing. So I went ahead and bumped it up here uh, to like 28. That kind of helps me to dial in the um, velocity curve a little bit uh, better for me. But then you can always go over and um, just mess around with this dynamic slider. So the dynamic slider is almost like a um, another scaling tool where we can scale velocity. So, you, you know, it can helps to control the dynamics because these layers, you've got softest velocity textures and then the soft layer and then the loud layer, but that is all dictated uh, by the uh, velocity. So you can see that those lines are just riding it close to that soft layer. And then I, I can hit real hard and it'll go into that loud layer. And so watch what happens. I can turn this all the way down and then that, that helps to kind of give you more of the dynamic range. But I really have to lay into the keyboard to get into those, uh, those upper ranges. So now I can move the uh, dynamic slider. If I move it all the way up, then you're just gonna get the top dynamic. Let's see, let's go back to here. So yes, the attack can be adjusted. And so we can go to this, um, this second page here. And we've got, this is where we select the, um, the articulations, but then we'll go to like the mixer page. And here we have attack, release, and reverb. And so that allows us to adjust the, the attack. So let's... Um, Let's go to another one of the combis, the brass and oboe. And let's mess around with that attack a little bit. So let's take the attack up some. So that helps us to kind of shake that a little bit better. So this is with the attack all the way um, all the way off. And now we can just make it a little bit uh, longer. So it sort of acts as a swell. You'll also notice that we have a uh, two mic positions 
we have the close and the tree mic, so we can we can mix that um, we can mix those mic positions a little bit. So that's always helpful. Let's go to another combi brass and core. Really nice tone. And there's just so many different uh, combinations here. Saxes and brass and saxes. Uh, let's let's check that out. Why not? <laughs> okay, I've got that attack. Yeah, I've got that attack still dialed in. So let's do that. Let's just kind of bring it, bring it back a little bit. <laughs> Just so many cool things. Let's go to uh, saxes and recorders. This is kind of a cool. It's got a really different personality to it. I, I like the um, I like the concept of it. So we've got the combinations, and now we've got um, brass reeds, recorders, saxophones. We've got them all kind of separated. So uh, here's the just the brass. We've got longs. Let's see if we can get into a different key. And what I like about this, we've got more of a range in these instruments. I like that. Yeah, David, it's, it, that's what's kind of surprised me. Yeah, it does. It it has like a band type or like a, just like a, you know, a really nice ensemble uh, tone to it. Um, well, Mike, hey, uh, I love, I love Alaska. We got to go to Alaska a few years ago and I love it, but uh, it doesn't beat being, being home.
that's the longs. And let's see, we've got soft. And so you'll notice when we went through and chose soft, we only have a texture and then a soft. So when we're playing at the lowest dynamic level, it's just like a texture. Yeah, Fred, I think that's one of the cool uh, traits about this that I'm hearing is it's got an alive, it's got a humanness to it. It's got a, it's got that heart. They didn't take the heart out of it. So it's like the natural things that happen uh, when, when you're playing with other musicians that those natural detunings and, you know, that type of thing, I think it's really, really makes it kind of nice. Let's see. A little imperfect is okay. It just gives character. And I'm so glad they gave us some range. They gave us the, some of the keyboard to play. So we can get the most out of this. Um, so this is... Um, So these are just some live performance. You just hold these down. Now let me take this dynamic slider and let, let's see if we can get into those softest. Uh, I'm just gonna hold this down a little bit. Okay, okay, Les, I see that. Let's see. Let me let me pull let me try something here with the um with the reverb. So we've got um let's see. Let's do, yeah, the big hall sounds so nice with something like this. And I'm gonna dial my velocity back a little bit so I can get into those soft, um, those soft layers. So let's try that, let's try that less. Yeah, so you know, you know, I'm watching the chat and you know, I get, uh, I get inspired. You guys inspire me with, um, let's see. Now I'm gonna turn off the close mic and just so we can hear the tree. That's got some really beautiful stuff. <laughs>
and yes, so this is uh, this is only eight gigs, but they do a lot with with it. I think uh, it's really good. And you know, I am always asking uh, to be able to do more Spitfire giveaways. So I'm I'm going to see it because this was such a quick um, a quick turnaround on this because I wanted to show it today. I'm going to um, just see what I can do maybe in a future live stream to see if we can maybe give a copy away. So stay tuned for that. And uh, speaking of that, make sure that you, um, if it's your first time here, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe because it's always, um, you never know when I'm gonna pop up. Usually I've been trying to do the live streams on Thursdays because Thursdays seem like that works better, a little better for me. So I'm gonna try to keep doing these on Thursdays. And, uh, and then if you follow me on Twitter, or Instagram, uh, then you know I'll always kind of post uh, post announcements or schedules that way. So that way you can be sure to um, not miss the um, not miss the live stream. So check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks for all the support. It's just amazing. <clears throat> it's amazing. The thing is, it my, for me, it's not about selling things. It's about experiencing experience experiencing them. Uh, with all of you. So I'm very grateful for these um, opportunities. So let's go back and take a look at um, some of the uh, different. Um, so we've got the ensemble, and now they've got them broken down into the different instruments. And now you'll see here, this, this, this will limit the range. Uh, Okay, let's see. Uh, anytime I play the tuba, um, anytime, well, I don't play the tuba, but. It's a cartoon that I love to watch called uh, Tubby the Tuba and. he actually gets a solo in the orchestra. And with this range, we can appreciate those extra beautiful tones that the tuba can bring. Well, listen to that. There's just such a, um, a, a wholesomeness to the sound. Soft. but you know just being able to hear those they're just not sustained they're they're just kind of playing and articulating these man really cool multiphonics okay yeah so it's doing some really Really cool. Okay, so chatter. This is kind of fun. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, just some random, random things here. Yeah, and, and then it's just like the, um, the, the, the close encounters thing. Um, and this is the layered chatter. That's it's just. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and um, let's see. Let's keep going. This is just the tuba, 
And then we've got a bass and tenor trombone. Okay. And I don't think... Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to change my tempo, but I don't think it matters. No, it doesn't matter. So the uh, the performances are not um, are not tempo synced. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah, just so beautiful things here. Uh, rounded shorts. Oh. And then we've got natural swells. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Oh well. So I, I have to check that out. Asleep in the deep. That sounds that sounds fun. Uh let's see. Let's go to the the, the reeds. So this is the long. Yeah, this instantly does it for me. expressive when you kind of wait. I have a hard time waiting. I, I, I just want to play, but sometimes you need to wait and let it just kind of very cool. Very cool. Wow. And then the core an Angelus Simeon and the Wolf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. N yeah. <laughs> It's got such a delicate sound to it. It's very beautiful. And then some performance. Just these aleatoric type of things, or I don't even know if you call them aleatoric, but just kind of improvised type of
And we've got uh, three round robins, it looks like. Uh, You know Shrek's brother? Hey, how is Shrek doing, by the way? <laughs> uh, you know, I have not. Um, I have not, but I that's uh, I I love getting um, getting tips and uh, and ideas and inspiration from you guys. So I'll I'll definitely have to check that out. That's very beautiful. The Cor Angelis, um, Ang Angels, Cor Angels or something. Yeah, I would have to look that up. <laughs> and we've got the oboe. That's beautiful. And swells. And I still got the big hall. And the um, the controls here, like I said, you've got attack and release. And then the tightness is uh, has to do with the sample. Uh, the sample start times and that type of thing, it lets it breathe a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's go to the performance and listen to the oboe. Really cool. Yeah, you know, it, it does remind me of that, Gabriel. It does. It reminds me of that. I think um, I think what Westwood does is that they are more, they tend to be a little more aggressive uh, with with it. I know I know that there's some soft textures too. Uh, I just I love what they've done with that. They they sort of create they sort of created this this uh, this whole category, this untamed category. Where where they're just they just go for it, and I think that I love what they've done with uh, with their Untamed series. Um, I think I think with this one it focuses more on the softer side of things, um, and and um, so yeah. But if but if you've got that man, yeah, you've you're, you've got a big head start. Okay, recorder, and I've done some videos on uh, the Untamed series as well. So check those out. Those are a lot of fun. So this is the recorder ensemble. I agree. I agree. Okay, let's see. We've got uh, the soft. It's got different things happening depending on where you where you play on the keyboard. That 
that gets a little crazy there. That's really interesting. So this is the layered, layered flutter. So I've got, um, I actually have the um, the British toolkit pulled up. Uh, I've got this, I've got that loaded in the project. So let's see if we can just do a um, quick listen to that and layer it. Uh, oops. Coming soon. <laughs> that's all, that's all I'll say. Uh, so this is the, um, this is the British Drama Toolkit. Okay, I do, I've got these layered, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, so this one, so this is just the um, British Drama Toolkit. You got strings and woodwinds. Now let's uh, layer these together with the recorders. And I'm just going to uh, click on this little MIDI echo. And that way this links both of these tracks together. So here we go. the strings okay the strings and I'm going to uh, let me bring the bring that back up oh it's behind it but those recorders just add the, the fluttering the layered let's see sure I've got this linked. Here we go.
Aqua. That's really fun. That is so much fun. Uh, so let's just uh, take a little quick look at um, a few more things. And so you guys have some sharp eyes and uh, there's there are some really beautiful things coming. And and I can't say much about it, but if you, but uh, Gabriel, you're real close. <laughs> you're very close. I just think it's, it's just, these are amazing journeys because everybody's got their own take on, um, on these instruments and how they present them. Um, it's amazing. Okay, let me make sure I don't have the, uh, yeah, I've got, British drama toolkit loaded and so, there we go. That sounds more like it. Saxophones. Just got a lot of air in there. And then the performances. Let's hold on to it and see what happens. There's just a lot of, of, uh, of air, beautiful air in there. It's incredible. <laughs> Let's do the uh, chatter. I think the chatter is kind of fun. Let's just let it chatter a little bit. And you hold it down and it just keeps going. It'll, it'll that little bit of randomness uh, That's incredible. It's a lot of fun.
they got some character in the bottom. Yeah, there's no um, no legato. That just the longs and shorts and the swells that they give you there. Uh, and then we've got uh, bass. We've got the ensemble, the sax ensemble. Then you've got the bass. And then the alto. Lots of things to like about this. Um, lots of things to like about this. Let's go back to the uh, to the combis and uh, back where we started from. Wow. So, so that is a little bit of um, a little bit of the. Uh, British Drama Toolkit, Brass and Reeds. And if you have any questions about anything that we, um, anything that I show on the channel, any of our journeys, any, uh, any questions that you have, uh, just leave them in the comments. And I always loved answering comments and catching up and uh, just doing what I can to help you guys. So I would encourage you to go ahead and check out the links in the description below and check out the samplist. Yes, yeah, so someone said that the samplist just released their video. Uh, great bunch of guys over there on that channel. So I would encourage you to go check them out as well. Uh, just a lot of beautiful things. A lot of beautiful things. Uh, a lot of beautiful opportunities that we have. Oh, well, I just got to forget to, uh, not forget to keep layering these, but uh... yeah. You know, David, uh, possibly, possibly there's all kinds of um, possibilities. Um, there's all kinds of possibilities. Um, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All kinds of possibilities. <clears throat> so let's see. So thanks, guys, for um, for joining me today and being uh, a part of another joyful journey. And I can't wait to see you next time. Make sure that you, uh, like I said, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them below in the chat. I mean, leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. 
It's always been a great, uh, great experience, and I thank you for so much of your support, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And this is Simeon, always reminding you to stay joyful. And I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.